Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the HP Recovery Media for your desktops or laptops. Now, I will be using flash drive as the recovery media, but you could use uh, DVD also. If you have DVD available, I have just a flash drive. I don't have DVD in my laptop. So, uh, what actually happens is that we have a recovery partition. That software, HP Recovery Manager, simply copies all the content of that partition to your recovery media. So, if I go to the personal computer, and this PC and you're gonna see over here E drive recovery drive this is around 15 to 16 gigabytes depending on the version of Windows 10 you are having and all the contents of this partition gonna be copied onto your recovery media now here is showing you E drive and I have C drive and D drive but actually I have two hard drives first is NVMe SSD and second one is uh, hard disk so if I right click the start button and go to disk management there you're gonna see I have a uh, disk 0 that is my SSD 128 gigabytes and second one is 1 terabytes hard disk and I have this recovery media sitting over here now if you have just one storage this may be just sitting on this um, in this first drive so that's how the contents will be copied onto your recovery media. It will take around 15 minutes. And further, once you have created the recovery media, if you are in need of more space, you have option to delete that. In the upcoming video, I'll be talking about what all contents are there and how to get rid of that partition. So without further ado, let's get started. So just go onto the start menu and type in HP and then you're gonna find over here an application called as HP Recovery Manager. Just click on that and accept the user account control prompt. And from here you're gonna go for option that I want to create a recovery media. So select that option. Now if you are not on the the power you just need to plug in the power. So I have plugged in the power now okay so this recovery media can be created only one time so just accept that and click on continue and that's looking for the flash drive I have not inserted yet I'll be inserting and if you have DVD drive you can just also create a DVD image also so I'll just plug in the flash drive And it has identified as F drive, so I'll just click on continue. So you can see over here it says that it should be at least 13 gigs. So we have 16 gig available, but I am using 32 gigs. So just click on continue. As giving you a warning that whatever flash drive content you have, that's gonna be formatted. So I'm just fine with that. And so also mentioning over here, just use maximum 32 gigabytes if you are using that is more than 32 gigabytes that is larger than 32 gigabytes it will be just creating a partition of 32 gigabytes and extra space will not be usable so i'll just click on ok and that has started copying the content now if you want to create copies more than, if you want to create more than one copy i'll create a separate video how to do that thing now if you come back and create try to create one more recovery media it's gonna give you error so this is gonna take some 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be back once this process is done. Okay, so recovery flash drive is ready. It took exactly 15 minutes to create this. And let's see how much disk space is occupying. So it is, if I go to properties, uh, it's taking roughly 12.6 gigabytes. Okay, so let's see what is the content inside the flash drive. So if I go to my PC and click on USB flash drive, uh, it's gonna show you over here empty because it has kept all those files hidden. And you can see over here it's showing you that you have content over here that is 12.6. And when I go inside the drive, it's showing you empty. Now, this is pretty dangerous because you might think that the drive is empty and you format it. But if I go to view options and show the hidden files from here, and 
don't hide the system protected files and then you're gonna see that it has created all these files booting from the EFI partition when you boot into uh, Windows using UEFI mode and then we have these SWM files that are actually that is the split files of Windows image file and your Windows is formatted in FAT32 if I go to properties you're gonna see it's formatted in FAT32 now in case if you have used a flash drive that is larger than 32 gigabytes then it's gonna create partition of 32 gigabytes only so if I go to right click the start button and go to disk management you're gonna see that it has created partition of 32 gigabytes and remaining all unallocated space you're gonna see because Windows can create a partition of FAT32 type is maximum 32 gigabytes so in that case once you have done the recovery if you want to reuse the flash drive for other purpose you can simply right click and delete the volume and create NTFS volume that will be using the entire flash drive. So that's all from this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you what is the content inside that recovery partition. Hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.